What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can tell by the title and what's on the screen right now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get salon quality, natural looking press on nails for less than 20 bucks. If you're interested in seeing how I got my nails like this and the process and products I use, keep on watching. For the first, so we're starting off with fresh clean nails. Make sure underneath your nails are clean and your hands are clean as well. These are the nails we're going to be using. I got these for six bucks at Family Dollar. The glue came in a two pack for two bucks and I'm using a nail dehydrator which can be substituted for regular acetone or alcohol. I'm also using a 100 and 180 grit file or you can use a nail drill and this is from Amazon. I'll be sure to link that below. Last but not least, of course, some napkins, napkins, napkins and a cuticle pusher. So we're first gonna start off by pushing back the cuticles on the nails. And like I said, wash your hands beforehand or you can soak your hands just to get the cuticle area nice and soft. So this is a very important step and probably one of my favorites because if you don't push your cuticles back, you run the risk of gluing the fake nail down onto that dead skin, which is going to cause lifting way faster than it would if you, you know, would have pushed your cuticles back. And also, it looks way more natural when your cuticles are like lifted up just a little bit and you can slide the false nail just right underneath there. Not all the way under there, because it ain't even going to go under there, but they look way more natural when you push your skin back and everything is taken care of, you know, when your hands are manicured. Now we're going to take the opposite end of our cuticle pusher and just remove any dead skin that is ready to be lifted up after that first round of pushing our cuticles back. Because we're going to do it again, okay? Okay? Now we're going to be taking the more gentle side of the file, which I believe is the side 180, I'm not sure. But um, we're going to be using the file or hand drill, whichever one you have, to buff the shine out of the surface of the nail. I left this in real time so that you can see how gentle I'm being. You don't want to go too hard because, again, we need our natural nails as a base and we need them to be healthy because over filing can cause infections and pain and all types of stuff. So be real gentle. We're just buffing the shine out of the surface and we're giving the nails a little something to stick to. And we're just going to repeat that filing and shaping for each of the nails, filing away that free edge but making sure we keep a nice light hand. Next, we're going to be going in with our acetone to remove any dust or filings that we have on our hands and nails from the last step. Now, I told y'all we was going back in with that cuticle pusher, didn't I? So here, we're just going to go back over the nails with the cuticle pusher to get any other dead skin or you know pieces or anything <laughs> that may have not left the nails once we did our filing and stuff like that so we're going to do that one last time just to make sure the nails are a nice clean surface Now we're going back.
back in with that acetone to remove any less particles or skin or dust or anything like that you could take the time to wash your hands which i would recommend i just didn't want to do it for the video but i would recommend washing your hands and using a little gentle brush to make sure the hands are all clean another very very important step we're doing now we're going to be sizing we're going to be doing our sizing with the false nails you want to take your time with this part if you don't take your time with anything else because this is going to determine how natural or you know good your nails look and also how long they're going to stay on if your nail is too small it'll pop off within one or two days if your nail is too big it'll probably stay on but it's going to be sticking to your skin and that's not really healthy because it can give you an infection if you you know put it on open skin so you want to make sure you get your sizing correct if the nail is too big but it fits the curve of your nail you want to take your file and go in and shape the nail but as you can see here i'm going to be laying my nails out by finger and making sure i try a couple of different nails on each finger before i decide which one i want to go with it's okay if you have to tweak the nails but do not settle or rush this part Now that we've got our sizing correct, the next thing we're going to be doing is taking our hand file or drill and removing the shine from the inside of the false nail. This is going to give us extra security when we're putting the glue on because it has something to like melt into and grab on. Next, we're going to be going in with our nails for a final time to make sure our smile lines are all right. And if not, you want to go in and file that as needed. And here I'm just showing you what I believe is the best way to put on false nails. You want to make sure you're sliding it down so that you can push it into the your cuticle next we're going in with our dehydrator alcohol or acetone and we're just going to remove any oils or shine or whatever we have on our natural nail bed for a final layer of security And now we're finally getting on to the good part here. I'm going to be applying the nails. And as you can see, I'm pushing the nails downward in a downward direction. So that's going to be parallel to my hand. But I'm putting a little bit of pressure towards the cuticle area. Um, also, don't put too much glue on your nails because it will run and your fingers will get stuck together like mine did. And I don't know how I made that mistake. I've never done that. But you know, you get carried away when you're making YouTube videos. <laughs> And then we're going to just repeat this process on all of the nails. Also, start with your dominant hand. So you want to start putting your false nails on your dominant hand first because it's going to be hard to work with your non-dominant hand with false nails on. So you want to make sure you do that one first.
so this is how the nails are looking but you know I gotta do a little extra so if you're not happy with the shape of the nails you just want to go in and remove first you want to go in and remove any dust or leftover particles from the process but after that I'm going to go in just for a little extra shape and customization and do a little shaping and filing of the nails these were like squoval shape but I wanted it to be like a real hard square so I did go in with my file afterwards but what I'm doing here is I'm removing any skin that might have got caught on the nails with extra or residue glue or something like that so you want to do this step too so that you're able to clean underneath your nails okay but that's what I'm doing here I'm just gonna be shaping and filing and then after that we're gonna be done so I'm gonna let y'all guys go um thank you for watching my video and supporting my channel if you made it this far real OG give me an emoji in the comments you know just so I can know who really been watching my videos or whatever like, cause you know <laughs> but anyways thank Thank you nonetheless and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye bye.